Hello all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here. And I just got done reading issue 11 of The Punisher. And I got some, I want to give you guys my thoughts, you know. It's up and down. This issue was like up and down. Definitely with the backstory of The Punisher, you know. I, I just, I can't get my hand to wrap, my mind wrapped around it. Uh, Punisher being this most disturbed character. You no, know, even before war. He killed a man when he was a kid and in school, and I kind of don't like that. And even now, he comes back from the war. I can understand a little bit coming out the war. War could change a man big time, you know. But he is so disturbing. He, like he's a man that did this all for his family. Obviously, this was the issue was all about. His wife finds out what the Punisher did in their name, but he feels like he kind of got so distant from his family like he didn't care about his wife he didn't care about his kids in a way right now like there were some moments in his flashback he did care about his kids he did care about his wife and he, he slipped and he went to execution and he just followed serial killer. like he wanted to be this punisher character he wanted to be this killer all along and i i, I don't like that in a way you know i felt like punisher maybe got disturbed from war yes but it'll be nice to keep that that hardness that his wife took him out of that path, you know, uh, being that disturbed figure from the war, you know, brought, cause there was a little moment like that, like he brought her out, brought him out of that shell. Like, you know, he became a more caring father, a more, uh, not a soldier, but a husband and a, a father. And I wish he stood that route in this comic book story, this background story that the Punisher's in. Uh, but he, he went back to that stir, disturbed man again, disturbed being that wanted to be a killer. And I didn't like that, you know, even his wife was going to divorce him at that park. And it's like, it feels like everything was falling apart. And he used the, it feels like he even used their death as an excuse to, an excuse to kill all these villains, all these criminals out there in the world. And that's like, I understand her freaking out and like, wow, you did all this. You kill all so many people in our name. Like, I understand that, why she'd be mad, that part. Um, like, totally. I just don't like the flashback of Punisher. I think that's what's killing the story a lot, you know? Like, it's origin story. You make him like he was a serial killer all along, a disturbed figure all along, even before war, and all this stuff. And that's just, that's bad. I didn't like that. Um, that's, I think that's one thing that Jason Aaron's doing terrible on. Um, like, I feel like he, uh, maybe he fell in love. That was his true love. And, like, he should have kept that route from school or whatever like he wasn't a killer a kid or anything i know he wanted to do this old prophecy like he was supposed to be this hand of the leader nah nah i understand him joining the hand maybe because he wanted to bring back his wife his kids in a way and he wanted he, that was a chance so he did succeed bringing his wife back and the hand fits perfect with him in the way i still like that i love him running with the hand i love um having choi on the ninjas and killing all these rapists and serial killers out there in the world that, that fits the Punisher role. Like I say, he kind of reminds me of like another Ra's al Ghul in a way. Ra's al Ghul was that way. He was kind of like he was the, um, he had the, the ninjas in his, the League of Shadows, um, uh, go around killing all, all these terrible people. Go read the, uh, Ra's al Ghul, um, One Bad Day. Basically, it shows you what kind of person he is. In that, that way, in that way, that could have been the Punisher as well in this story. Like, he, if he could show the hand like the Ra's al Ghul does in DC Comics, he, it'll be exactly the same, you know? Like, that's why Batman is a, uh, like Ra's al Ghul, just because he kills. And that's why the Avengers don't like Punisher, because he only kills. He kills bad people. Same thing Ra's al Ghul, he kills bad people, you know? And it was pretty cool, this issue, that the Punisher fought the Avengers. You know, he fought, well, he fought... Yeah, yeah, you could call them Avengers, I guess. Doctor Strange, Moon Knight, Wolverine, Captain America, Black Widow, all Avengers members one time. I think Moon Knight was, too. Um, he didn't really fight him. He felt like he was trying to get away. He was just trying to get away. He pushed him aside, tossed him around. Well, except Wolverine, like, stabbed his face with his own claw. That was pretty crazy. But he knew he would heal. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that was he was just trying to get away from the, um, the Avengers because he gave up the kill. He finally stopped. So, no, I'm done. I don't want to do this no more. Uh, I want to be with my wife. And too late for that because his wife decides to blow him away and <laughs> just shoots him. And obviously, I think um, she's going to die now. I think because our priestess, this is all leading him to the Daredevil story. Chip Stark is Daredevil run. Because in that story, you don't see the priestess, the red priestess. You see Punisher, you don't see his wife. 
So obviously this is taking place before the big old battle in Chips the Darkest. Daredevil versus Chips Dark. So Punisher still runs with the hand. Um, he's still this leader of the hand and all that stuff. But what happens to his wife? What happens to that Red Priestess? I think they both. I think the Red Priestess is gonna kill um, Punisher's wife, and Punisher's gonna kill the Priestess for doing that because he loves his wife so much. He don't care that she shot him and all that stuff. So. It's gonna be a tragic again, and I think Punisher's gonna know that he, she hates him. You know, like he's gonna hear that I hate you for doing this. I hate you for bringing my kids back so many times and them dying. I hate you killing our people in the name. So maybe he becomes a whole new villain now after this. Maybe he's just not doing this no more for their name. He's doing this for himself. Maybe he's just saying, "No, what? I'm letting go. This is for me." He's like the new villain of the of the Marvel universe now. And hey. It's, that's, I'm okay with that, you know. Punisher's not a hero now. Well, maybe he's still an anti-hero. He's doing what he's doing. He's still got, he's still gonna kill the evil people out there. He's gonna still kill the rapists, the serial killers, the mass murderers out there. He's gonna keep doing that forever. And he's just this big baddie now. Like he's like I said, he's the new Raz Agu. And I'm okay with that. Punisher be like that. What else do you want him to do after this story? Like I can't see after this story ends. Like what he's gonna do? Go back and go. Wear the classic regular skull and go on the battle fan and kill some more criminals. No, there's this is like the end point. I would say if they don't end it like that, Punisher becomes like a villain in the Marvel Universe. Kill him off. Kill him off. Punisher's story's done. Um obviously anime, uh, end his story. I think that's the best way. To me. Boom. If uh if the Punisher doesn't become a villain. He, he, if he becomes a villain in this story for now on, I'm okay with that. Or if he dies, I'm okay with that. But him becoming kind of like a good guy, anti-hero, whatever, going back to his old ways, I've seen that enough of him. we all seen comic book stories like that. I want a change in Punisher. I, I, I still like the classic Skull, don't get me wrong. People, the main reason people don't like reading this is because the stupid Skull and symbol. I don't care. I just want to get a story. And so far, the story's been pretty good, except for the backstory of his. But him becoming the leader hand, I love it a lot. Uh, me and him, he becoming the villain now in the Marvel Universe, I like that a lot. Like I see, maybe might be the new Raz Agu now. The new uh, League of Shadow, like controlling the hand and ninjas and all that shit. Similarities might be the new in the Marvel Universe. I'm down with that. I'm cool. They need a new tournament leader of the hand. Like, who's the who's been a tournament leader of the hand? They always change it with Mystique, uh, Sabretooth, uh, Silver Samurai, Electra. Punisher fits the bill in my book. I like it. But comment below what you guys think of Punisher issue 11. Do you like the idea that Punisher might be the villain of the Marvel Universe now? He might be one of the big baddies out there. Ruined the hand forever. Out there knowing his wife hates him now probably. And, um, and he's not doing uh, all these killing for them no more. You know, He's just a free man doing what he wants and killing all the bad guys. Or do you want the Punisher just story to end? You know, just... Maybe go back to his old ways, wearing a classic skull and doing what he always did. Got the bell fan, battle fan, go hunt down some criminals and shoot himself. Or you want him just to maybe die. Comment below. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on the Punisher issue 11. But thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed my video. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new. And please hit that notification to get all my comic book reviews as well. But thank you all for watching again. I hope you all have a good day. And a good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.